like channel update video, I need you to help me grow this channel. It's a trap! Hello, my Pitfall crew. Welcome to my channel update video. And that's right, I'm doing this animated now. No more podcasty style videos, even though it takes a little bit longer to put together. But hey, I figure you need a face to look at because I am the face of this brand. So, how y'all doing today? All right. So, anyway, uh, we're in 2019 now, and there's probably going to be an onslaught of all kinds of uh, update videos and people outlining the plans and ideas that they have for their channels, and I guess I'm pretty much doing the same. But before we go forward and go forth into how this next year is going to go, I just want to take a quick look back at all of the great stuff that happened for the channel and just how things have grown uh, starting from the beginning of uh, 2018 to, to where we are now. Uh, thanks to the coaching and the advice of my friends The Afro Show, uh, aka Afro Vlogs, as well as Shweeby, I was encouraged to start live streaming. And of course, I didn't think that I had it in me. I didn't think that uh, I would have anything interesting to say while playing video games. I just thought it would be boring. But you know what? I just thought, why not? I'll give it a try and I'll see how it goes. And so many of you responded. The channel grew so much over the year. In fact, I'll try to uh, put up a little statistic showing where the channel started in January of 2018 to where things ended with the last live stream that I did, uh, which was the Capcom beat-em-ups collection with Danny Plays. And I'm just so grateful that everybody came out and and threw their support behind uh, what I was trying to do. Because even though this is basically an animation channel, I love gaming. It, it's such a huge part of my identity and what I do. And I'm so happy that you all saw what I was trying to do and encouraged it. So it was amazing to see the channel growth from that time and uh, to be able to have so many opportunities to, to play so many fun games with amazing people. Again, like uh, Danny Plays, Dexter, AKA Trickster Plays It, Chase X Gamer, Jay Z Kitty. Coach Millhouse, Brandon, Tara Knight, Sauce Biscuit, just so many great people. Uh, I had so much fun. Uh, I can't forget Alpha Proto as well. It was just so much fun, and there's so many highlights and things that I still intend to put together for you guys so that you can see just how fun and amazing things were during those live streams and you know just make them into like little bite-sized videos maybe about like five minutes each um but besides all of the gaming stuff i actually did three separate interviews in 2018 discussing who i am and what i intend to do next and i'm going to link those interviews in the description of this video but it was such a wonderful experience just uh, being able to express myself like that, because even though I am trying to get people to watch my content, it still feels a little weird sometimes to have people take such a interest in what I'm doing and ask me questions about, you know, who I am, like, where do you come from and, and, and all this stuff. So those interviews were with uh, Taz Hole, Retro Gaming Randomness, and Geek Impulse. I liked several bits from each of those interviews, but my favorite one probably had to be with Geek Impulse, simply because of all of the funny and amazing tangents that we, we went down in the world of, uh, of pop culture and things. And uh, what I plan to do at one point is to make uh, little snippet videos, but basically highlight videos of those interviews and put them in animated form, like what you're seeing now, and uh, just kind of reliving those interviews just so that you guys can uh, can see some of the uh, other stuff that I was up to. So, like I said before, this is an animation channel. 
And as much as I love the the gaming aspect of what I've been doing, I'm really going to to make a very determined effort to emphasize the animation aspect of the channel. The gaming stuff isn't going to go away because that that's just too much fun. But the this channel isn't it's a trap gaming. It's it's a trap productions and that encompasses a whole range of things. What my plan is for the channel going forward is I'm going to try to have a new video every week. The animation will return. The next animated video that's coming up will be Emina episode 10, and that's going to be a premiere video so that we can all get together and uh, and watch it. I mean, I know not everybody who watches this channel is going to be able to watch the premiere due to the nature of a lot of you guys being in different time zones and I wish I could accommodate everybody but the simple fact of the matter is I can't so I'm just going to have to pick a time and just put that out there so that you guys can see the premiere when it's going to come up I'm not gonna give a date when it's going to come up because I still have to work on the video a bit I need to rebuild the audio of it because the original audio just does not sound good and I have to put in the new uh, voice recording from uh, Alpha Proto uh, as well as uh, Caden from KP Movie Studios and uh, just do a better job on the audio production that's a thing that's going to happen so look out for that Uh, it's i'm definitely aiming for it to happen at least this month before the end of the month is all i can really say right now and things will continue from there and i will continue to talk about the animation projects that are coming up close to when it'll be time to release them. I don't think every video I'm going to release on the channel is going to be a premiere, but when we get to the longer videos, like what Emina is going for, because this next video is about 15 to 16 minutes long, I feel that's justified enough for a, a premiere. Um, so that we can all get together like it's a live stream. I guess I also have to talk about the fact that I have closed down my Patreon page. I appreciate the financial support that you guys gave me for all the time that the Patreon was up, which I think I started it back in February of last year. But due to Patreon's weird social political craziness that has been going on with uh, removing certain people that they don't like, I just felt like I couldn't support the platform anymore and I couldn't go out and advertise myself being on the platform anymore. You know, I still have of uh, friends and associates who are on Patreon, and that is completely up to them to continue to be on there, and I, I don't hold anything against them for that, but I just felt like I, I personally couldn't. And there are other ways of supporting me if, if you feel so inclined. First and foremost, what I need from people, which is completely free to do is just to share the videos around. Currently, the channel has 417 subscribers. Uh, I know a lot of those are like dead subscribers, but within the past few months, I do have a lot of uh, active people on here. And even if just 15 or 20 of them came around here and shared my videos around and hit the like button and told their their friends and family about my uh, animated videos or my gaming highlight videos and the other stuff that I plan on doing, that would really help boost the channel's exposure a lot and get more people inclined to to subscribe and really to help grow the brand. It's funny to think that I have become my own brand now, but that is basically what I am striving to do here. I'm trying to pretty much become an animation studio, uh, even though I'm, I'm a team of just one as far as the uh, the heavy lifting goes that is what I'm trying to to reach out for so I need you guys' help in that regard of just liking each video and sharing it around on social media where, wherever you happen to go I know a lot of my supporters are on Twitter uh, some of them are also on Instagram as well I'm gonna try to give the uh, Facebook page more support just trying to give that more attention because i think that's uh that's an untapped audience at this point yeah you know just gonna try 
much harder on the social media aspect of the channel. So since I'm not using Patreon anymore, one of the best ways that you guys can support me financially is going to my coffee page. I also have a Streamlabs page, which also just takes PayPal or credit card payments as well. It also is open to cryptocurrency donations as well. I'm trying to get into that a bit more because I think that's pretty much where the future of finances is heading. So I'm going to emphasize that a lot more with each video that I do. I'm going to create a new bumper, not a bumper sticker, but just like a short little video clip either at the start of the video or the end, telling people to support my coffee and Streamlabs page. You guys let me know where I should put that on these videos, because I don't know. I've heard so many different conflicting sources of advice about, you, know, you, you should put it at the start of the video. You should put it at the end of the video. You shouldn't do that at all. You should create a separate video to advertise your crowdfunding sites. So I'd like to hear you guys' opinions on that. I do also eventually want to start selling merchandise for the shows that I'm creating. I've had some amazing people just either create things for me just out of nowhere, or I've asked for certain things to be made, like uh, Dexter, aka Trickster Plays It. He made my little chibi anime avatar, which you have seen on so many of my videos, specifically the live streams. There's definitely going to be some more stuff from him coming up. I, I want a redesign of my banners on YouTube and Twitter. And there's been some other amazing art as well that have come from my friends that I'm going to put into this video as well. And I really think that, especially as time goes on and I, I make more animated videos, I think it's just natural that people will want to have and own a piece of those uh, animations and those characters. I know Ninja Steve is probably my flagship series, so that's always great to see. So I think some emphasis will be put into creating merchandise based off of him at some point, and uh, we'll see how things go from there. Besides that uh, and the channel and where I'd like to take things, I'm also trying just to work on some personal goals as well. I've always wanted to learn the Japanese language. It's always been an interest of mine. I don't know anybody in person who lives around me who speaks Japanese, so it's always been an extremely hit and miss kind of thing. It's like trying to apply the knowledge that I've learned, and it's there's been very limited applications, but you know, I just want to go into this year with the idea of just doing the things that I want to do regardless of how hard it is. It's just putting in the hard work to get it done. That's what I'm gonna try to do. So I'm really gonna put more uh, effort into that. I don't know if that's exactly going to show up on the channel in any kind of uh, tangible way, but you know, it's just something personal. I also wanna pick up learning how to draw by hand. It's something I used to do as a very young child, I was never really that good at it. You know, it's just, I just don't want anything to be beyond me artistically anymore. I love working with people and I love collaborating with other artists on things to help my visions come to life. But there's just, there's always been this desire for me just to wanna to do things for myself. And so that's why I just want to pursue the visual arts uh, on my own and apply it into what I'm doing. At some point, it'll probably be several years, but you know, we'll see what happens. I also want to learn 3D animation. I've had a on and off relationship with the Blender program, which is a free 3D animation program for a few years now. And just like how I said earlier, I just want to go for it. Just dive right into that and just stick with it. It's just putting in the time, making the time for it, spending less time watching other people's YouTube videos, which, you know, I try to support people as much as I can, but I also have to take that time for myself in order to do these things if it's ever going to manifest itself in any kind of meaningful way. That's just what I have to do. The same thing goes for trying to learn how to make uh, video games, because that's also been an interest of mine that I've just always had that, well, it would be nice if I did that, but, you know, never putting in the time to, to actually learn it. There's so many things I want to do. I just have to put in the time to do it. And I want to create all of these amazing things for you guys. 
so that you can watch them and enjoy them and, you know, have something fun to see. And, and, and that's all. Just, just fun things to watch. As far as any channel goals, you know, getting back to the, the, the YouTube aspect, I would like to reach a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. I think that's possible, especially if I, first of all, put in the, uh, the work and the effort to make new videos for you guys that you can just see on a weekly basis. I think that's an attainable goal, as well as just continuing the live streams, because I think you guys enjoy that as well. I think if I was to reach a thousand subscribers, I would probably do something huge like a uh, a 12 hour live stream or something. I think that's all I could realistically manage because of my various uh, medications and, and things that I have to, to take. I think 12 hours would, well, not easily, but it, it's something that I could do. I don't think I could do like a 24 hour stream. That, that would be nuts. That's basically it. I'm just going to try to work harder at making videos for you guys on a weekly basis in between the live streams that I do, whether they be gaming based or animation based. There's just, there's so much to do. And I'm happy that you guys are, are along for the journey. So I want to thank each and every one of you for your support over this past year and really helping the channel to grow. You know, I continue to uh, to need your help. In fact, that'll probably be the uh, the title of this video, like channel update video. I need you to help me grow this channel. Also, I'm been, I've been thinking about creating a uh, Discord server specifically for It's Trap Productions. Let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in. I like being on Discord and talking to you guys, but I just, like with the whole live stream aspect, I, I probably just need to do it. You guys let me know. Let me know if you enjoyed this format, if you like seeing like an animated face being here and um, explaining things. Eventually, I will get a webcam, a uh, properly good and functional webcam to record these kinds of videos. Uh, but until then, I think I'm going to keep to this animation aspect. But like I said, you guys let me know what you would like to see. All right, my pitfalls and my pitfall crew. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to uh, hit the like button, share this around. Let's let's make this a really interesting and awesome year. I think it's going to be a bit experimental, but you know what? You, you have to try things and see what works. All right. I hope you all do extraordinarily well this year for my fellow YouTubers and, you know, for my just watchers and supporters. I hope you're all doing OK, and I'll see you again soon with some new content on a weekly basis. All right. Take care.